Hello and welcome to this Victor tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Grasshopper scripts into your applications. Right now, I have the final application in front of me. And as you can see, I have the ability to change dimensions of my box. And I'm using a Grasshopper integration. And the model that you'll be able to see here is a 3DM file that was made using Grasshopper and Rhino. If I minimize my browser, you can see here Rhino Compute was running in the background. We have Grasshopper and Rhino, and we also have a Victor worker. You may be asking yourself, why in the world would I want to turn my Grasshopper scripts into an app? Well, maybe you have encountered this before. It's a spaghetti monster. By turning your Grasshopper scripts into apps, you will no longer be trying to untangle or be looking for values in a very complex web of connections. It also means that you can share the Grasshopper scripts functionality without the user needing to know anything about Rhino or Grasshopper. As this is an advanced tutorial, you will require some prerequisites. You'll need to have installed Victor and completed the create your first app section so that you already have some experience with the platform and with Python. Having some experience with Grasshopper and Rhino is also recommended. Do you have Rhino on your computer? Great. Otherwise, I advise downloading a free version because the greater part of this tutorial is about the integration. Since we are using Victor with Rhino, we will need a Python version that is compatible with both. Victor will require a version that is 3.8 or newer, whereas Rhino has only been developed to accommodate until 3.11. I would like to quickly start with this schematic to show you how the integration will work. As the user fills in input parameters in the Victor environment, the app will make a JSON file, which it will send from app.py on the cloud to the generic worker. The worker will then use this as the input for the calculation and the tasks it needs to perform to reach our desired output geometry. Finally, it can return the output geometry to the worker, which in turn is sent back to the Victor UI where the user can see the output on the cloud. You will hear me mention Rhino Compute in this tutorial. Rhino Compute allows you to write code to access the Rhino and Grasshopper SDK through an API. This will let you use Rhino in a headless way. This simply means that Rhino's user interface won't run and it will reduce the computational time on the worker significantly. If you decide to deploy apps that require this Rhino Grasshopper integration, Rhino Compute is the go-to method as it can run on any cloud service framework. When you have all the prerequisites, the first steps we will take are our setup. Let's begin by setting up our folders and testing locally. We will begin by installing hops via the package manager in Rhino. Let's go into Rhino and in the command line, we will look up package manager. Here we can look for hops. And when you find hops, you can click on install. Hops will start installing. And once you have installed hops, you can click on OK. Next, we will go into Grasshopper, also via the command line. In Grasshopper, we want to check that our Rhino compute will start with a startup in Grasshopper. So let's go to File, Preferences, and here, make sure you have the same settings. You can uncheck Hide Rhino Compute Console window so that we can see when Rhino Compute is calculating our result. For more installation and configuration of hops, feel free to pause the video and take a look at the Rhino documentation. You will have to restart Rhino after you've completed the hops installation. Now on to the Victor parts. Let's begin by navigating to our environment. If you are using the free version of Victor, this is cloud.victor.ai. Here, you will need to navigate to the top right tab where it says create worker. Click on it, then fill in the description, select the integration type as grasshopper, 
and we will assign it to a specific workspace, namely our development workspace. Make sure not to close this tab just yet as we will need the credentials later. You may then go to the worker guide. There you may download and install the worker or grasshopper. Please make sure you do not have another version of the grasshopper worker installed. Then you may run the installer, follow all the steps and complete the setup. There are some default settings that you can change, but I will keep them as is. When you see the credentials field, copy the credentials from the environment into the installation wizard and continue the installation. Once fully installed, the worker will launch automatically and you should see successfully connected to the server displayed in the terminal of the worker. We can then double check that the installation went well by refreshing the page and going to the workers tab and you should see your worker is available. Next, we want to start building the Victor app, so let's quickly create and start a new app template for this grasshopper tutorial. To quickly remind you how to create the template, we will first make a folder for our app in the Victor Apps folder. Then in IDE of choice, open this folder and open your terminal as well. Then we can generate the files using the Victor CLI create app and for this tutorial, you will want to choose type editor. Once you have generated the files, you will need to add Rhino 3DM to your requirements. Then go ahead and use Victor CLI install to install the app. Once it's done installing, we will begin by clearing our database using Victor CLI Clear. Then we can go ahead and use Victor CLI Start to start our application. And if you have not done this before or would like a quick refresher on how to do it, you can watch the in-depth video in our documentation. For this tutorial, we can download the sample Grasshopper file that we provide in the tutorial. You will need to add this to your app folder, like so. And once you have done that, you can go back to the tutorial. You can scroll down and we will copy all the codes so that we don't have to worry about that. I would, however, quickly like to go over the code with you. We start with some imports. Here we have all the elements that we will need for our Victor app. Then we have our parameterization with all our inputs, followed by our controller, where we have a geometry view and we are using the grasshopper script. We are performing an analysis on the script using the inputs from that parameterization. And then finally, we will be returning a geometry as a 3dm file then you can go back to the environment and you may open your development workspace as you can see we have the same parameters and we can click on run grasshopper to start the grasshopper script and there you have it the 3d model has rendered in our application if I change a parameter, you can see that the box also changes in the geometry.
If we open the Rhino Compute tab, we can see the integration worked over here as well, which I think is pretty useful. Should you have any problems with your app, you can always use Rhino Compute and Grasshopper's hops components to help you debug your code. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to learn more about the possibilities with Victor, feel free to try out our other tutorials. For now, good luck and happy coding.